three person bank robbing crew now in custody and all three are under the age of 17. The youngest suspect is just 11 years old. And so how were the so-called little rascals able to rob a bank in the Greenspoint area? ABC 13's Jessica Willie live with the details on this one tonight. Jessica. Yeah, those three boys were brought here to the Harris County Juvenile Detention Center after their arrests where they will face a judge who will decide whether they will remain in detention or get to go home with their parents as this case moves forward. While it's unlikely the 16 year old could be certified as an adult, the Harris County Sheriff's Office says they are boy bank robbers. Their age is what's striking. This is one of the first times I recall seeing that. The trio so young, the FBI called them little rascals last Thursday, releasing photos and guessing they were between the ages of 14 and 18. Today, announcing their arrests and revealing their young ages, just 16, 12 and 11 years old. The age of the younger two who have been uh, have been alleged to have done this, uh, that's a bit unusual for a bank robbery. According to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, the three boys passed a threatening note to a teller at this Wells Fargo on the North Freeway and West Road. They were believed to be armed and got away with an undisclosed amount of cash. Once the surveillance photos were released, the Sheriff's Office says tips started coming in. Two of the boys' parents came forward. The third boy was handled by law enforcement and recognized. The Sheriff's Office says they recovered a weapon and a distinctive item pictured in one of the photos. They are charged with robbery by threat. They are entitled to have a, a detention hearing almost immediately. Mike Schneider uh, you know, is a retired uh, juvenile district court judge. I was thinking either this was very low in sophistication or maybe an adult had something to do with this. This is not an uncommon thing because um, kids have punishment that's less severe. Uh, it's not uncommon for uh, adult offenders to get them into to commit crimes. Investigators will not say if the boys acted alone because they are minors. We are not identifying them. If the allegations are proven true, they could face probation or juvenile prison. Schneider says the goal is rehabilitation. You would certainly want to have someone learn about these consequences before they're an adult. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.